Nellie McClung was a famous women's rights activist in the 1920s. She is well known for being one of the famous wives who fought the prisoner's case. Nellie McClung was born on October 20, 1873 in Ontario. She moved to Manitoba when she was six years old. Her mother believed that every child has a right to get education and Nellie McClung's family encouraged her to learn all she could. Nellie started her education at the age of 10 at Northfield School. She wanted to become a teacher just like her, like her sister Hannah and started teaching at the age of 16. Nellie McClung taught briefly in rural schools before she got married to Wesley McClung. Her mother-in-law, Annie McClung, was also an activist. She encouraged Nellie McClung to write Sowing Seeds in Danny, the first of her 16 novels. Nellie wrote about the war as well in her, her book, The Next of Kin, Those Who Wait and Wonder. This book also showed how women were not given equal rights. A character in her book is told that the country's business concerns men, not women. By writing the books, Lily McClung wanted to bring a long-lasting change in her society. Lily strongly believed that women would win their rights someday. In 1911, Nellie McClung became, the, became active in the Women's Christian Temperance Union and the Canadian Women's Press Club in Winnipeg. On July 18, 1921, she was elected to be the provincial legislature where she served as MLA until 1926. She was the only third woman to be elected to a provincial government in Canada. In Alberta, Nellie McClung met other women and together they became the Famous Five. The Famous Five fought Canadian lawmakers to have women recognized as persons. Before the persons case was fought, women were not expected to work in offices and were not considered persons. But when the Famous Five won the case, women had earned more respect and more rights. On October 18, 2000, a statue was built on Parliament Hill to honor the famous five. Nellie McClung brought a great change in the world. She's one of the few people who raised a voice for women's rights. In present day, women are given their rights and are independent. If people like Nellie McClung had not fought, this might have never been possible. She passed away in 1951 at the age of 78.